Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Matt Luddy, and uh, today's video we're talking about belts, those things that hold your pants up. There are a lot of belts in Path, and the reason we're talking about belts today is I think belts are the easiest thing to roll in the game. Just there's like the smallest roll pull, so you know, when it, even when it comes to League, have, if it's week one, I don't even buy a belt, I just make my own. Yeah, so Tora does have the uh, the bower bow makers tool she does belt stuff so if you ever want to work on belts you know tour is good there's a few belts in the game belt bases but these five are the ones that really matter if you're not using one of these five you're probably fucking up um unless of course um it's like on a belt base that you vowed then it doesn't matter what the base is and that's a different scenario as far as these five bases goes uh, leather belt is uh i don't even like these leather belts at all i think it's kind of shit but leather belts gives life implicit rustic sashes fizz damage heavy belt strength vanguard is armor and evasion and uh, crystal is es um, both of these are gated behind high level content um, these will drop anywhere throughout the game you want to go id4 plus again so you hit the highest tier rolls we have like res rolls they have implicits you can change implicits with blessed orbs um, for example if leather belt uh, 40 is perfect you could keep doing this until you hit 40 yeah you go a little crazy maybe oh there you go 40. Uh, same thing with a uh, crystal belts go to 80 i believe and it could take all right there you go done uh now the vanguard ironically goes to 320 i believe yeah vanguards go to 320 so that's an insane roll variance 260 to 320 so getting a perfect 320 um could honestly take like fucking forever i wouldn't even bother if you just hit above 300 I'd be happy. So yeah, the belts are really easy to roll. So this is like the roll tiers. These are what they got. So again, we're on the POE wiki from the, the page. It's an accessory. So there's not even different rolls for belts. They're all just the same roll. Uh, prefixes and suffixes. That's what you want to look for. The prefixes, we have Fizz Reflect, shit. Um, the recovery rate, this affects, uh, you'll get life and mana from flasks, both shit. ES is good, life is good, armor can be good, and wet is the best. For suffixes, so there's like three dead stats basically out of seven. Suffixes we have charges again like the uh, flask when there's two different within the same tier Which means you can't get both so like I couldn't get flask life and flask man They share a roll tier same thing with I can't get flask uh, charge gained and charge used I found this out after the fact before this page even existed like a year ago when I spent a stream trying to craft both of them uh, and duration. I want to get a belt that had all three flask rolls No one told me the same roll until I was streaming and a mod came in chat and said uh, you can't do that lady and I said why didn't you tell me 50 exalted ago? So you have two flask rolls, uh, one flask duration, res, 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 res. Strength uh, is fine also. You actually can't roll dex in int. If you want to roll dex in it, you have to use um, an essence. So like in essence, like spite is pretty popular. Um, a lot of people that are using crystal belts go CI. So using an essence of spite on them because like screaming costs like a chaos. You know, int equals more ES basically. So then the dead rolls are like life regen, stun, stun and block and enemy threshold. Um, so there's only four dead rolls in there and only seven in total. So of like the 20 so mods, you know, seven dead rolls is pre pretty easy to go. And even then the roll tiers aren't bad. So the one problem with belts is that you have of the list of unique belts, the ones that are, I mean like face breakers will use mega Nords sometimes, but there's a lot of unique belts. Most of them are sh shit actually. It's kind of crazy. Um, but then you have the two big dogs. You have the Wretch, uh, which is best in slot for pretty much any Pathfinder build or a lot of Flask builds. Then you have Headhunter, which is, of course, the Mac Daddy of all items in the game. So, obviously, the belt slot is dominated by these two. Headhunter is complete shit for single target or doing boss killing. It just doesn't benefit you either. And the Wretch is insane for that. So, if you have one of these, probably not going to be using a, you know, a rare belt. But if you are, that's fine for you. And here's falls in the category. So I actually had to craft them. We're using the um, same materials we always do as uh, transmutations, alterations, augmentations, regals, scours, and eventually maybe an exalted. Um, so we're just going to use, you use a transmutation on it, and then alteration until you see uh, desirable roll combinations. Um, normally for belts, the only time I'll ever regal when one of the rolls is shit. Uh, for example, if I had this, the suffix is, is not a very desirable one. Um, it's not a dead stat per se, but it's not even a super high tier. Um, I can still regal this because if I hit into flat ES, uh, which I did not, it could still be worth something or still be worth using. Really, like crafting belts for profit, it's um it's a slim margin. It, it's like, kind of hard. You have to really hit insane rolls. Um, this is quite good, so we can regal this. Lighting res is not very good, so we start over. Um, but yeah, like you could also uh, chaos spam belts if you want. I don't normally suggest it, but there's not even that big of a roll variance. Like, see if you had this belt. And you're starting league, this is a perfectly fine starting belt. So we have um, three suffixes, uh, fire, res, cold, res, strength, uh, prefix, prefix. Now, if you're not, a, if you're like a CI build, obviously the life is a dead stat. Um, but one of the best things you could do for crafting is you have a unique mod of movement speed. So that's great. Um, it's one to five. So pretty much once you put it on, 
you can just uh, use a divine or use a divine to use it itself. And then the best thing is has you have uh, wed roll, 8 to 12%. I mean, and that was like, I will say 20 alts, scour, regal, two regals or whatever, a um, couple chaos. So I mean, we'll say like 8C. Um, yeah, you could buy a better belt at this point in league, but you know, week one, this is a for 8C making this belt. That's a pretty even trade. So there's some like specialty things you could do. So we talked about uh, essences earlier, um, and there's two essences that come to mind. Using uh, screaming of spite, uh, obviously you want a deafening or shrieking is better, but um, you know, hitting, uh, having the int roll is quite good, and pretty much hitting any sort of flask rolls is also insane. Uh, so you just uh, scour server. Um, see there, that's a perfectly good belt right there, <laughs> pretty much. So that that'd be fine to use. Like if you're playing any sort of like howa build, and you just got like this, you're you're fine. Slap on fucking wed and boom, you got yourself your little howa belt. See, so yeah, essence of hysteria is like uh, we'll say you know 16 C plus probably probably closer to like to 20 C plus for one of these. And what they do is they offer so 5% Ellie pen is a uh, it's a lot of Ellie pen actually if you because the way that uh, resistance works. So for builds that are like Pathfinder builds or you know Flask Finder builds, something like this is great. And uh, you know hitting it on a belt, um, it's expensive per attempt, um, but boy is it. Uh, worthwhile it is a uh, it's a suffix the damage pen so it would you'd have to hit like basically the, the goal is to do that and hopefully hit like a res or a flask roll or two um, I bet you it takes up the same roll tier as uh, one of these flask charges I can't imagine you be able to get all three flask rolls see that, that's a that's a pretty cool method of belt crafting itself and like I said you can uh, chaos spam although I suggest against it because it's just expensive considering how easy it is just to hit two or three properties with all aug regaling for belts so ideally on crystal belts you want to like always hit dazzling which is a t1 yes that's not mandatory but certainly fucking wanted that among flash scrolls like flash scrolls are pretty insane that's a shame i didn't fucking hit higher all right we got t1 and that's technically double t1 well we'll regal it well, it's technically 3T1, <laughs> okay. Um, not quite the uh, 3T1 of our dreams here, but uh, yeah. But yeah, let's, let's do like more of a practical example. So say you're um, just like in league, you just hit like lake for the first time and you need a belt, you know? So you're, you're an act four merc and hey, I hit fucking need a belt. So what do we do? Well, we're, or it's just simple. Like this is what I do most leagues. You just check the, uh, I just check normally check the vendor. She doesn't have much for belts at the moment. I don't really care about bases as much, it's more just the opportunities to alk them all, because alks are pretty cheap normally. And then I'll just uh, go down the line, and uh, you know, there we go. Um, so that'd be like a perfectly fine belt. I can even uh, craft a third resin this thing. Yeah, so I would, I'd be pretty much, uh, pretty satisfied with having that belt as far as going to Merc Lake on like day one, just for alk slamming. And as far, like, if you really, really, really feel risky, um, you could just uh, vowel it and fucking ruin your belt. All right, that about wraps up belt crafting in, in all its applicable forms. You know, alking belts from vendors clearly works. It's fine. Just uh, just don't vowel them afterwards. There's not a whole lot of rolls, um, and it's really, really not hard to just hit something that's at least worth regaling. And considering you can craft wed, you can craft flat ES to pretty decent values. Uh, you can end up with a okay belt for pretty minimal currency. The most expensive thing on a crystal belt is going to be the base itself. But you could always use a chain belt, and a lot of builds, rustic can be better, and so could heavy, strength starved, and vanguards are always quite cheap because no one really wants them. Uh, so I'm Matt Lady. Um, good luck belt crafting, and I will, uh, I'll see you guys out there.